Hey everybody, Zach here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at a bed liner from WeatherTech. This is the Tech Liner Custom Fit Bed Liner for our 2018 Ford F-150. This is going to be a full coverage bed mat here. It's not going to be anything like the spray and liners, but it's going to provide some nice protection for our bed. We all know about Ford's aluminum bed and how it gets knocked for being noisy and you dent it up pretty easily. I've got a couple things here. I'm going to throw it in there. That is holding up a lot better than if I was just going to throw that in that aluminum bed. So it holds it in place a little bit, provides some grip to tools, whatever we're throwing back there. But also it's going to cut down on, you know, denting that bed and scratching it up. This one was in, it's seen better days. This one's not too old, but if we peel this up, you can see this one got scratched up pretty good. They are definitely using this like a truck as they should. We'll put that back in place and we can see that this is going to be custom fit. But what's nice about it is we can pull it out, clean it off if we need to. Um, that's the biggest thing with these because just walking around in it, installing it earlier, I got some footprint in there. Uh, I wiped it off with some you know, wet rag, but if it got really bad, if you were hauling a bunch of stuff back here all the time, you wanted to clean it up, you can hose it off. WeatherTech makes a really nice cleaner that they use on their floor liners in the interior of the cab. It works just as well on this. Um, so it's gonna do a good job of holding up to taking a beating. You know, it's not gonna replace, you know, the spray and bed liners. Those are gonna be really heavy duty. Those are gonna hold up. Those are also really expensive. So. This is a nice alternative if you're not looking to get the entire back end of your truck done. Just give you something that's nice and simple to use. Another thing with it being custom fit, it doesn't interfere with closing our tailgate. It fits perfectly back there. So some of the other ones kind of fold up and just kind of has a weird fit. So that's another nice benefit of the custom fit. Now with this being custom fit, it's gonna go all the way around the sides here completely around all the contours of the vehicle. And then you can see it's held in place with these double-sided hook and loop pads. So you wanna make sure that you've got this in place before you install it. Just give it a nice dry test fit, but then that holds it in place. And with those down, if those are properly secured, you saw when I put the, the tools in there, it didn't shift around. Now when I walk around in here, you can see this is not moving around. It's not shifting back and forth. I'm sure you're familiar with some of the pads that people just throw back here. There are a lot of custom bed mats that are cut, but they slide around just a little bit, just enough to where you're walking around, it's gonna move around. So this definitely stands in place. It holds up a lot better than I anticipated. So I think it's really nice. I was a little surprised by it. Now, like I said, this does not replace a spray-in bed liner um, or a drop-in bed liner for that. I think this looks better than a drop-in bed liner, but we're not gonna get that full coverage over the wheel wells or on the side here. And we will get some gaps around the sides there. So even though this is custom fit, we're still gonna have some issues. Like right there, you can see something was dropped there. It's dented this in, so it definitely doesn't fit well there. So if you're putting gravel or mulch back here, Stuff's going to fall underneath there, but you can easily take this out, clean everything out underneath it. And with that high edge there, I do like that it's going to keep stuff from falling underneath there for the most part. But then whenever we're, you know, sweeping stuff out or hosing this off, it's not back here at the back. So it's going to easily fall out the back, clean out the back of the truck pretty good. Overall, though, pretty easy uh, to get this in place. So let's just show you how we put this in. First thing we need to do is we need to get some stuff cleaned up, make sure we got all the loose dirt out of there. I sprayed this down with a little bit of soapy water, nothing too concentrated or anything, but just getting it cleaned up, getting all the loose dirt off there, making sure that those adhesive strips will stick. We don't want anything in there grinding away if we ever do take it out and adding to all of these scratches. So once we get this cleaned up, then we can start getting our mat in place. Now we can grab our liner and get that prepared to go into the bed. Now when you get this, ours was the same way. It comes out of a box all rolled up and it kind of wants to fold back in on itself. So we laid ours out in the sun for a couple hours. It's a pretty warm day, so 
it didn't take that long with ours. We also laid a few objects in the corner that weigh it down and make it lay flat. So you can see we've got it really good position now. We can just kind of get ours put in place. So we have a pretty good fit there. We'll make sure we get it up and around those drain tubes on our tonneau cover. Now that we have this put in place, you can see my drain tubes are kind of interfering with this sit and flush up against the front of my bed there. The customer that owns this truck doesn't want us to trim that. He said he's okay with it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this back. You can see that's where those hook and loop tabs are. Now those are all the way around the vehicle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little alcohol wipe that comes in our kit and I'm gonna clean off the area even more with that to make sure that this will stick to the bed of our truck. So we can peel this off and we can put that down in place. And then I'm going to stand down on that as best as I can for at least 15 seconds to make sure that that stays secure to the bed. Now what we can do is we can work ourselves around the rest of the truck. We're gonna go clockwise. We're just gonna repeat that same process for the remaining ones. Make sure that everything gets nice and clean and get everything secure. And you can see on these last couple, we're going to have to separate it from that hook and loop strap, but getting these last two in place, put some more weight on those and we should be good to go. As you can see, this isn't too bad of an installation. The biggest thing is just making sure that you clean things properly so it adheres down to the truck bed. Overall though, if you're looking for something to provide a nice light duty truck bed liner, this is gonna do a really good job. It's gonna hold up to a decent amount of abuse. It can clean pretty easily. It's gonna be made of the, pretty much the same material that's on the uh, interior of your vehicle, those floor liners. So WeatherTech makes really nice stuff. They do a good job of designing it so it's custom fit. I think you're gonna be pretty happy with it. But that's gonna do it for our look at the WeatherTech Tech Liner truck bed liner on our 2018 Ford F-150.